understand the charges that have been levied against you. I also need to I also need to ensure that you are aware of your amendment right under the U.S. Constitution, right against self-determination. Are you aware of your rights? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, counsel, you may proceed. Just that, write that uh, with your uh, stated awareness of your Fifth Amendment rights to uh, against self-determination. Are you, are you sure that you still want to uh, testify on your on behalf today? So, was that a question for me, Your Honor? Yes, it was. Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right. Let, uh, let the record reflect that the defendant has uh, waived Fifth Amendment right against uh, self-incrimination and uh, willingly his proceedings. Counsel, you may proceed. All right, Robert. I want you up here because I'd be damned if you don't give it a chance to say your thing and tell us what your side of the story is. Please have at it! So I'm so, I'm sorry, sir. Could you uh, be more specific with your question? Why, why did you find yourself in such a dire position to obtain testy, apparently? Uh, well, you see, it was a very it was a very tough time. Um, woke up, I woke up in the hospital with 17 stab wounds, um, 11 in the chest, the rest in the back. Um, when I came to, I found out that I was missing both a kidney and a testicle. Um, and yeah, it was it was very um very unfortunate time. So you were sad. These things were removed. You you and you were left bleeding on the street. Yes, sir. <laughs> Humanity. Were you aware? Of existing organ donation programs? Uh, I wasn't too aware of many of them, um, but I was told that there was one that I could find, um, and that's where I met uh, Joseph. And, and as stated previously by what by Joseph, was it Joseph? Maybe Dixon has said it, there could be very long waiting lists for such things, and you found somebody. I could get you these things that you needed. Yes, sir, that is correct. So you felt you were obtaining these things from a legitimate source that could potentially change your life and save it. And now you can broke rape with double the semen. Yes, sir, that is correct. No further questions. Douglas, uh, your your opportunity to cross examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Chopper. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Good. Hope you're doing well today. And you know, it could be better, but we'll see what happens at the end. So, according to the records, on eleven ten, did you or did you not go in and confess? of buying a testicle off of the black market. I did say yes. And you got put on administrative leave, is that correct? That is 100% correct, sir, yes. All right, and what have you been doing during this time of your administrative leave? Um, after I got, I, I was put on probation for 10 months, uh, I was not allowed to leave my residence. Um, after that 10 month probationary was up, my uh, mother uh, took me in for a bit. Uh, she gave me a couch to sleep on. Um, I used what left of the revenue I had from P my PD funds to take a trip out to Venezuela. Um, when I came back, um, there was a pool tournament going on. That was the first thing I uh, took myself into. And then pretty much after that, it was just waking up and hanging out down at the cyber bar, hanging out with uh, Mr. Chip. All right. And do you have any relationship with Dixon Butts and or Joseph White? No, outside sir, I of the uh, testicle. No, sir, I do not. So were you aware that this testicle that was given to you was taken off of Mr. Dixon Butts? No, sir, at the time I was not. No further questions. Uh, 
Defense Council, redirect. Yes, absolutely. Regarding your acceptance of, uh, you know, reporting yourself for getting this testicle, are you well aware of the term post not clarification? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, fairly well enough. Oh, yeah. For those who don't understand, it's when you nut and then you take a few moments oh, afterwards and you decide, what did I just not do? Oh my. What we see here is Jopper, who accepted his organ as he needed it and had post organ acceptance clarification. Oh, further questions? Objection. Can I hear you, Judge? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Can you clarify the uh, nature of your objection, please? The objection is the fact that him buying this testicle was still off the black market and illegal. Well, uh, to that end, we're uh, uh, performing uh, further, uh, providing further testimony and obtaining further evidence to determine whether or not it is, in fact, legal to uh, uh, purchase, procure, or obtain a body part off of a quote unquote black market. But doesn't his confession hold any stance? Well, as he confessed to obtaining a, a testicle off the black market, it still has not been established whether or, or not that uh, that activity, that procurement or possession thereof, is in fact a violation of penal code. So you're telling me anybody can just go to the black market and buy whatever they want to and it's not illegal? Objection! I, I will caution to you to uh, watch your tone when you're addressing the court. like to state that my client was making a purchase to save his life from what he could assume at the time was a legitimate source. The fact that it could deliver it a little bit quicker was hey, out counsel, of the ordinary. I will not have, counsel, you will not testify on behalf of your client. You may ask him what his intent was and you may not testify on his behalf. Is that clear? Understood. Stop him. Yes, sir. Do you feel that you are obtaining this organ originally from potentially a, a, a legitimate source? Don't answer that if it's wrong. Sorry, could you repeat the question, sir? Did you know at the very moment that you purchased said organ that it was coming from the black market, or did you not understand that until later when you reported yourself to the police. I did not know about it until later when I reported myself. Exquisite. Uh, the court will be uh, taking a two minute uh, breathing recess. Everybody stay put. And that's crazy, but... Prosecution, do you have any further questions? Any cross further cross-examination? Negative this time. I approach the stand. In just a moment, uh, Mr. Chopper, uh, you may uh, be seated back at the defense uh, table. I understand you are still under oath and you are subject to recall. Understand? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Hey, officers. What's going on with the defense counsel over there? Oh, it looked like he was falling asleep. I wanted to make sure he was getting Chopper's good oh side. Oh my god, Paul, you can't, you can't do that, Paul. 
<laughs> We're so close. You can't. You can't give it up now. I just couldn't approach. help but touch that beautiful hair. Council Defense Council, please approach. I love you for that, man. Can, uh, you speak I got you. Me, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We both know what this guy did is illegal. What's, what, 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 how is it based? How is it illegal? What's the law section that states that he's not allowed to do it? <laughs> he came right up and admitted to. Okay. I think it was Great. Captain. I understand that. However, in order for something to be illegal and a crime, there must be a statute that states that you cannot do said activity. I'm still waiting to hear that. So you're telling me anybody can just go buy anything off the black market? Well, it if it's if. If it's not something that is specifically um, illegal, stated to be illegal under the law, obviously you can't go out and buy an, a, a fully automatic uh, rifle if it is illegal for you as a average, as a normal citizen, to possess that weapon. If it's, but again, I have yet to see or be no, uh, made aware of any statute that states that it is illegal to either procure. Or to possess uh, body parts, regardless of where where they were uh, where they were uh, obtained from. Do you guys think I'm an idiot? But again, that's that's why we're here to establish whether or not there is what in the fuck? <laughs> occurred or any uh, violations of law. Good to see Michael Santos is uh, joining us. Well, you've had you had your opportunity to present evidence to show that you presented your, your witnesses. So at this point, it's the defense's opportunity to provide any re rebuttal evidence to those allegations. And, and at which point you will have your opportunity to cross-examine any and all witnesses the defense provides. Right. Back to your table, counsel. Yes, uh, defense. You, uh, you were. We were back on the record first and foremost. Uh, defense, you may call your next witness. Did everybody back in the courtroom that needed to be here? Was, were you missing anybody? Prosecutors here. Defense counsel is here. Defendant is here. Uh, all witnesses that have testified are still here. Any other witnesses that you have to call, defense? Yes, I would like to call. Officer Bolton of the LSPD. Officer Bolton. Good, maybe somebody with brains up on the stand. Watch your tone. <laughs> Officer Bolton, tell me very briefly. Wait, hold on, oh, defense. Sorry, well, I'm, st I'm still addressing. Uh, I'm still addressing the process. Prosecution. One more outburst like that, I will find you in contempt. You understand? Yes, sir. Defense may proceed. <laughs> I think that's annoying. Officer Bolton, you briefly tell me of your connection to this full scenario. Where is Officer Bolton? I, I'm not seeing Officer Bolton. Oh, you Bolton. don't see him sitting? He's sitting in. Someone tackle him! Ready, cookie. Can you see me standing next to you? Have a spider jump. That work, Judge? Can you see me not? Uh, I cannot see you at all, fortunately. Just tackle him. <clears throat> Just tackle him, yeah. Or Bolton, walk out the door, all the way outside the courthouse, and come back in. Is that Smoker? Who is that? Yeah. Oh. No, it's not. Have only him come. Do you guys walk think I'm winning, winning right now? I would walk back and what? Do you think uh -huh. I'm winning right now? I don't oh know. yeah. I just I mean, got here. You know, no, piece of shit. I, th I think I'm doing good. I think no. I think he's doing excellent. Hey, someone's knocking on the door, motherfucker. <laughs> Officer Bolton. Uh, 
with something to return. Am I, can you see me now? Uh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, I see him. Wait, was that him? Oh, that was me. Yeah, he's by the door. He's, uh... Yeah, he's here. Cannot be... He's invisible to me, unfortunately. He's, he's just walking up now. Bolton, try to walk up this way. Just continue. Oh, it's fine. Can you see him here? Right here in front of me? I'm gonna sit in the chair beside you. Yo, yo, yo. Do you have a uh, Do you have a mask or something that you could put on so I can uh, ensure your presence? If he's talking, does it really fucking oh matter? God. <laughs> there goes his beard. Uh, negative. I do not see you. I will. Uh, is uh, council can can both councils uh see uh Mr. Bolton? Yep. Yes. Oh, he just disappeared. What the fuck is oh, going he's on? He's over here now. Yeah. Wait. Can you touch you? I do not. But if uh, if both uh, both councils and defendant in the uh, in uh, see Mr. Bolton, I I am willing to allow all these uh, proceedings to uh, progress. To fucking court to go on just because you can't see him. That's such. Well, I don't know if you can hear him because you can't see him. He can hear him. He literally talked back to him. Defense, go ahead. No. Alright, thank you. Mr. Bolton! Can you please tell us of your connection to this charge? So, uh, Dixon Butts and, uh, what was the other guy's name again? I'm sorry, Joseph White. Uh, we had a situation where we had a call of a domestic, uh, dispute. When we arrived at that scene, we found, uh, Mr. Dixon Butts, I do believe, to have had his uh, organs removed. And when we went through to do all the processing and everything, they well, both claimed there was well. no foul play and they would not like to press charges against one another. So these... <laughs> so these items specifically related to the testicle were not obtained illegally at all. Uh, to my belief, that is what they told me. Yes, that's not illegal. Let me, uh, let me get some clarity. So, am I to understand that the charges that were filed against Mr. Chopper today and this entire scenario in which the testicle was removed from Dixon Butts by uh, Mr. White and then subsequently sold to uh, uh, Mr. Chopper, Mr. that uh, neither Mr. White nor Mr. Butts wanted to file charges against the, the, either, either the other person or anybody else regarding this matter? To the best of my knowledge, no. Douglas, what the hell are we doing here? Ooh. I have just been made aware of this. I was not aware of this with yeah, Mr. Honor. Amazing court case. Yep. I would like to just state then, if this item was not obtained illegally, this was just exchanged. Yeah, I think so. Like they were tossing Pokemon cards to one another. Exquisite! May I question, Your Honor? Council approach, defense approach, please. Paul, you're. Oh, wait. Tell me to approach. Wait until council arrives. Dude, I'm so glad I hired Paul. Get off my damn desk. Ask Mr. Douglas. Aggressive. What's the issue? It's funny. How so? I'm just now being made aware of it. Uh, defense, when were you made aware of this, uh. This, uh, this, uh, piece of information? Sounds like this is like every other PD case. Bunch of bullshit. This is hardly a fucking case. Like... Witnesses? Are you mean? The witnesses? <laughs> this is what happens Basic when terminology people don't tell the truth. There's gonna be riots in the street. Know, yeah, hell yeah. I'll lead the riot. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm however, down. Alright, riots in the street after this, got it? Yeah. 
witnesses and evidence do become available. Would you like uh, 15 minutes to, uh, to consult? Damn it, Trey, we should have went with our plan, man. Uh, with uh, the law books. And we'll go with the plan after. after. Uh, wish to uh, proceed with this. Uh, you still want to? No, 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 no. Wait till after. Wait till after. What if we just hit a bank right now? <laughs> you know, this call is right next to you, right? No, we're just, no, no, so we're we're just uh, a game in the yeah, it's uh, a uh, yeah. I think that's the it's called the when they were GTA San Andreas right Definite Edition. Let's talk about this game called like um. That's just a uh, new the game San Andreas Definite Edition. We're gonna go rob a bank. Damn. Damn. Would be would be kind of funny if somebody robbed a bank during a court case. <laughs> I know, though. right? Hi. Do you think I'm winning? Shut up. Hell yeah. I can't, I can't hear you. you wanna, hey, well, I mean, if I do something bad, couldn't you take me out of the court? Make me sit outside? Else that, uh, you can bring to my attention. No, I think so. Right You're a bozo. God damn. Don't worry, guys. I got the backpack. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> Dude, my cameraman is so fucking... Uh, I think I'm dedicated. Don't worry, guys. They didn't, they didn't find this backpack I brought in. <laughs> Like, uh, oh, you also got a backpack? I like it. Over there? No. Hell I'm yeah. more beautiful than Don, by the way. Thank you very much, Judge. Oh, yeah. You guys uh, want to get up and clap? I saw somebody waving a hand at the prosecutor. Who was that? That was, uh, Trey Davis. Wait, what's going on? Mr. There? Davis, do you have something I'm to add? I'm clapping, man. Um, Are you clapping for me? Can I? Can, oh, I'm oh, clapping shit. for you, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, thank you so much. What's your name? Cletus, man. Nice to meet you, Cletus. I think I met you before at the fight. God damn. Hello. Yeah, probably. Can I can I talk to the prosecutor, or is this case done? Is it over? Over? Um, I think uh, if uh, you and the prosecutor want to uh, side bar in the uh, in the uh, consultation offices to the uh, left of the the, of the, the really the judge over here, um, you know, we can take a five minute recess. Take yourself, Wait, what the it's not over. Looks like Trey's about to try to fuck you. I'm the judge. Nah, they're gonna, they gotta go talk, talk in private. Go sit down. What is he gonna? Did you just say it's over? You just said it's over. He don't wanna let you win like that, bro. No PD, PD don't like to lose. If you want to consult with the prosecutor, you need to do so. Let's do that on that door. Let, let, we can. I don't know where we can talk. Up. They've taken our office, but where may, may we go, Your Honor? <laughs> Nonetheless, is it over? Um, yeah, but they ain't Can I leave? No. Yeah, they they talk about some Can't stuff. Point for some reason. Over to the uh, the double doors uh, to be just past where the uh, prosecutor's desk is. Uh, would you like to leave the establishment? Yeah, I got shit to do, man. Nah, nah we gotta wait. I wanna I wanna see this thing through. I got shit to do. I gotta go run burger shop, man. Yeah, I gotta no, go. No, what about riots, man? Go, Carlos. Come on, let me out. Give me, uh, give me, uh, return uh, to the gallery. Oh Yo, man, I gotta go to Burger Shop, run that place. It don't, it don't run itself. Yeah, I think, I, I think I can leave if I want to. I mean, most most courts actually do lock a, the door. I'm not a witness, so why can't I leave? So this is, bro, if it, all it takes is one fucking gas grenade in here, we're all fucking dead. <laughs> They're just gonna put it through the vents. Prosecution's ready. He's gonna go for it. Hey, can I leave? Court's now in, uh, back in session. Everybody take a seat, please. Uh, <laughs> Council, please approach. He actually did it. He got out. Defense counsel, please approach the bench. He wants you, Paul. He wants you, Paul. Defense counsel, get your ass up here. Desire to uh, potentially uh, pursue any charges against uh, Joseph White uh, for aggravated battery or aggravated assault. Okay. 
guys, uh, you may return to your seats. We are back on the record. Um, at this point, uh, prosecution has made the court aware that, uh, in light of the uh, recently discovered evidence and testimony, uh, specifically that uh, neither uh, Mr. Butts nor Mr. White uh, wish to uh, pursue any charges of any sort against uh, either themselves, uh, the other person, or against Mr. Chopper, or has no choice at this point and to uh, to uh, dismiss the case uh, with prejudice, meaning no further uh, prosecution may, may occur in the future. Uh, with that said, Mr. Chopper, you are free to you are a free man. All charges have been dropped against you, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Oh my God! Yes, Paul, you're Yay, a Java. god, dude. Squid here. Court is now in recess. Oh my gosh. There we go. Please file out of the courtroom. Uh, What's up? In a single file line. Yay, Chopper! Please walk, walk, or you will hurt yourself. <laughs>